And the Sundown Salute wrapped up its six-day celebration in Junction City today. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett met some volunteers who have been using this festival as an opportunity to help farm animals as well as help families have fun. On the last day of Sundown Salute in Junction City, people got to celebrate Independence Day as well as make some furry friends. Wearing red, white, and blue, these horses are ready to celebrate the 4th of July. These sweet animals spent their day in Junction City hanging out with kids and their families. These horses are owned by two broke cowgirls. Not literally broke, that's just the name of their company. Halia Johnston and her partner started the company to rescue horses from being slaughtered. They allowed people to ride the horses as well as inform them. Mainly what we want to do is we want to educate the community on horse slaughter, you know, the a difference that they can make. This is their first year at Sundown Salute and it seems to be a hit. My favorite part was when um, they told me how old she was and how, how they actually did their hair and stuff like that. And the horses didn't seem to mind either. Our horses that they have done amazing. They've done awesome. They, everything that we've thrown at them, they've just been like, whatever, cool. These horses got to celebrate their new independence on Independence Day. The two broke cowgirls hope they get to come again next year. In Junction City, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. I'll have to the horses with the braids. That's my kind of horse. Well